Hey, Math 30-2, today we're going to look at combinations and the bean trees. Due to a previous late return, Stephen's only allowed to sign out one English book at the school library per month. List all the different orders in which Stephen could sign out the three books. And so if we said Grapes of Wrath, Wars, and Bean Trees, you could do that. Grapes of Wrath, Bean Trees, and Wars. Wars, Grapes of Wrath, Bean Trees, Wars, Bean Trees, Grapes of Wrath, and finally, Bean Trees, Grapes of Wrath, Wars, Bean Trees, Wars, and Grapes of Wrath. So, we know that's three factorial, or six ways. Different orders, permutations. Tarek is allowed to sign out all three books at the same time. How many different ways can he sign out all three books at the same time? So given the choice, he'll just take, say, I'll take all three. There's only one way to do that. All right. <clears throat> Part A is an example of permutations, where order is important. Part B is an example of a combination, where the order is not important. So selection of a set of elements in which the order of the selection is not important is called a combination. All right. Suppose that the students in part one were required to read only two of the books. So we're now talking about only two of the books. Complete the table to show the number of ways in which Steve and Tarek could do this. All right, so pause this. Write down the solution and then restart it. Here's what we should have. So for Steve, we wrote out all the possible permutations. For Tarek, he could have taken out the Grapes of Wrath and then the Wars. He could have taken out uh, Grapes of Wrath and Bean Trees. Or he could have taken out the wars and bean trees. All right. So we can see that continuing on this idea, grapes of wrath and bean trees both fit there, and the wars and the bean trees are both there. So complete the following statement. Steve's permutations, there were six permutations. Tarek's combinations, now there are three combinations of two books only. Complete the following statement, the number of combinations is equal to the number of permutations divided by two, or two factorial. If you look at part three, Five students, Al, Byron, Colin, Dave, and Eric, take part in a cross-country race to represent their school. Suppose the winner of the race wins $50, the runner-up wins $25, and third place runner wins $10. The table below shows all the possible ways in which the three prizes could be awarded to the five participants in the race. Count up how many ways there are. This is an example of a permutation because the order you finish matters. You want to come in first to win the $50. It's a lot better than coming in fourth, which is nothing, or second or third. So order is important. How many ways are there to award the three prizes? You could total these up, or you could say there's five people. Order is important. You want three prizes. All right, so five permutations of three. There are 60 possible orders. All right. Part B, for participating in the cross-country race, the school has been awarded three places at a running clinic. The school coach decides to select three lucky students from the ones who took part in the cross-country race. Use a table from A, which has been duplicated below to circle the different ways the three students can be chosen. This whole group has, circle, has uh, runners A, B, and C. 
So any three of those get to go to the running clinic. This whole circle has runners A, B, and D. And this whole group has runners A, E, and A, B, E. And so and these are all A, C, Ds. These are all A, C, Es. A, D, Es. B, C, Ds. B, C, Es. B, D, Es. And C, D, Es. This would be called a combination because the order is not important, just the grouping. Any three students can go. It doesn't matter whether you're chosen first, second, or third. You get to go to the running clinic. So many ways there to select the three students. Well, there's 10 groupings. So there's 10 ways to select the three students. So complete the following statement. The number of combinations is equal to the number of permutations divided by 6. 60 divided by 6 is 10. 6, we know, is the same as 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1 is the same as 6. So we come up with this formula for combinations. Combinations of n different objects taken r at a time, where r is less than or equal to n. This restriction tells us we could never choose 12 objects given 10 to start with, right? So if you have 10 objects, you must choose 10 or less. That's why they're saying r is less than or equal to n. Example on the previous page reflect the following. n combinations of r is the same as saying n permutations of r divided by r factorial. This is the notation for n permutations of r. And then you divide out the r factorial. So you come up with this combination formula, which is on your formula sheet, and you'll have that for the diploma exam. You have to know how to use that. You don't have to know how to memorize it. Note that the NCR key in the calculator can be used to evaluate combinations. And another commonly f common way to write combinations is N combinations of R written in that form as well. You may see both. Example one then. Three students from a class of 10 are chosen to be on a school trip. And how many ways can they be selected? Write your answer in factorial notation and evaluate. So we've got 10 students. We want to choose three. They're going on a trip, so order is not important. We just need three to be chosen. So according to our formula, that's 10 factorial over 10 minus 3, which is 7 factorial, and then another 3 factorial. So you recall from earlier, we can write 10 factorial as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial, all over 7 factorial and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. I can now reduce any numerator with any denominator. 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial is 1. 9 and 3 reduced down to 3 and 1. 8 and 2 reduced down to 4 and 2. So we can now find our solution. 10 times 3 times 4 times 1 is 120. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. That should be a 1. Thank you. Is 1. So 120 divided by 1 is 1. Confirm the answer on our calculator. So on our calculator, we have got 10 math probability 3 combinations of 3. We found out that to be 120, and the calculator confirms that solution as 120. All right. Example 2. To win the lotto 649, a person must correctly select six numbers between 1 and 49. Jasper selected the six numbers from the birth dates of his family, as indicated. How many different selections of numbers could have been made? Well, is order of the numbers on a lotto 649 ticket important? No, as long as you have the correct numbers. So you've got 49 numbers to choose from, and order is not important, it's a combination and you're choosing any six. So 49 combinations of six. Well, again, that's going to be calculator work. We can go second entry and get this, and then go back and change a few numbers here. 46 combinations, sorry, 49 combinations of six. And you come up with almost 14 million. 13,983,000. 
thirteen million nine hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred thirteen. Eight hundred sixteen, got those mixed up. Nine eight three eight one six. <clears throat> Example three. The athletic council decides to form a subcommittee of seven council members. Let's underline some key things. Seven council members to look at how funds are raised and how they should be spent on sports activities in the school. There are a total of 15 council members, nine male, six female. The subcommittee must consist of exactly three females. Exactly three females must be on the subcommittee. Determine the number of ways of selecting three females. Well, we were told we've got six females to choose from. And I need exactly three, so combination, because order those three females doesn't matter, and I need three of them. Well, we've got nine males to figure out number of ways to select the males. We've got nine males. Again, it's a combination problem because order that we select them doesn't matter. And we need seven people on the council. We already have three females chosen, so seven less three. I need four males. How do they get to be the total number of ways of determining the subcommittee? Well, number of females multiplied by the number of males. They're all the same committee, so we multiply those together. We should get our solution. 20 ways to choose three females from six, and nine combinations of four is 126. So 20 times 126 would be the answer, 2520. Part B, in how many ways can the subcommittee be selected if Bruce, the football coach, must be included? The football coach needs to be on the council. He has to be on this subcommittee. He needs his input, so there's one way for Bruce to be on the subcommittee. And we've already got six ladies to choose three from, because there still have to be exactly three ladies. And now we need the men. Well, we used to have nine men, but Bruce is now gone, so there are eight men left. And we used to have to choose four, but Bruce is on there, plus the three girls. I only need three more men. Multiply that out. We've got 20 times 56. So a lot less choices, 1120. All right, last set of examples in example four. Standard deck of 52 playing cards has the following characteristics. So if you don't know about the standard deck of 52 cards, then you want to read through there. Poker is a card game played with 52 cards. How many different five card poker hands are possible? Well, if you dealt a poker hand, the order of the cards come to you doesn't really matter. So you've got 52 cards, combinations, order isn't important, and you need five of them. So 52 combinations of five. All right, 52 combinations of five. So you've got two, five, nine, eight, nine, six, zero. possible five card poker hands. And how many of the hands in A will there be all diamonds? Well, if you look above there are 13 diamonds in a deck. You need to choose five for your poker hand. So 13 combinations of five. Check in your calculator or that is 1287. You need four black cards and one red. So half the deck is black and you need to choose four of them. Half the deck is red, you need to choose one of them. It's the same hands, so we're going to multiply those together. So 26 combinations of four multiplied by 26 combinations of one. 388,700. Part three, you need three kings and two queens. So we know in the deck that there are four kings and you need three of those. There are also four queens and you need two of those. It's the same poker end, so let's multiply those together. So four combinations of three, four combinations of two, we multiply that. 
Turns out to be 24. A little trickier one. How many hands are there with three kings? Well, we just said we've got four kings to choose from. You need three of them. And now there are 48 not kings, and you need two of them to complete your hand. So that's the same hand, so you multiply that. But that's not the only way to have three kings. That's the only way to have exactly three kings, but this question says three kings. So of my four kings, I could also have all four of them. And in that poker hand, there would then be 48 cards, and I need to choose one more. So I could have three kings in my hand, or I could have four kings in my hand. We know when we use the word or, it means addition. So we work this out. Four combinations of three times 48 combinations of two. That gives you 4,512. And four combinations of four times 48 choose one gives you 48. And you should add those together to figure out the total, which is 4560. All right. Looking at four aces now. Well, you've got four aces. You must choose all four of them. We've got 48 other cards in the deck. You need to choose one of them. So to get four aces, there'll be 48 possible ways to do that. Now, if I look at the last one, five card hands of the same suit, they call that a flush. So we know that one suit has 13 cards, and we need five of those. But like with all diamonds, that's 1287 from example one. But this doesn't have to be all diamonds, it just has to be the same suit. So we've got four different suits, so you multiply that by four. So 1287 times the suits could have been diamonds, spades, hearts, or clubs. So the correct answer is 5148. Right on. We're done that.